Welcome to this week's edition of What's the 401 Sports. I'm Keisha Wilson. And I'm Mike McDonald. Well, Keisha, on to the NFL for a little bit. And former Dallas Cowboys wide receiver Des Bryant is still a free agent. He turned down an offer from the Baltimore Ravens reportedly. It was worth about $21 million over the span of three years. Now it seems like it, uh, he may have to wait until training camp until he winds up getting an offer. Did Des make the right decision, Keisha, by holding out, or could he wind up on the outside looking in? Well, it seems as though Des Bryant is operating in a time warp. He's hopped into a time machine and has rewound uh, the clock about four years where he was really just pulling, putting up crazy numbers. Um, but he's not that person anymore. And the fact that his availability has garnered very little interest amongst the league is a sign that he could very well uh, be on the outside looking in. But I think he has enough to be a late addition to a roster. Um, you know, we're still in the off season, so there's a chance that somebody will want to um, want to sign him. And God forbid if an injury happens, I can see him uh, being signed to a team. I think, you know, if I was him, I would try to make friends with Aaron Rodgers and see if he can get to Green Bay. It's awfully cold there, but Aaron Rodgers is a superstar quarterback, the one of the elites of the elites, and could make Des Bryant look better than he is. And um, he, 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 being Des Bryant, uh, expressed interest in playing for the Giants. Well, we could just put that pipe dream and stick it somewhere because the Giants already have their hands full trying to figure out how to sign their superstar, and I say superstar, wide receiver in Odell Beckham Jr. And also, you know, how many diva wide receivers can you have on one team? <laughs> they got their hands full just personality-wise of Odell. So um, Dez, I don't know if he's sly like a fox and is, he knows something that we don't, but um, I would think that he might want to start changing that mental a little bit and stop rejecting offers because you never know when they just won't come anymore. That's right. I mean, he made a mistake here. He should have jumped on it. Unless he has something completely opposed to playing against or playing for the Baltimore Ravens, he's not going to get a deal like that from somebody else. And he should have signed that paper immediately and gone to Baltimore. As you pointed out, I think going forward, probably what's going to wind up being the best fit for him, and I think where he will wind up, is the Green Bay Packers, despite the fact that Aaron Rodgers has even come out and kind of been opposed to bringing Des Bryant on board. Uh, Des had a little some, some opportunities here when the season ended and then when the the Cowboys decided to let him go uh, and it wasn't just the uh, Baltimore Ravens that were in the mix who obviously went ahead and gave him offered him a contract but also the Houston Texans Arizona Cardinals a couple other teams were looking into maybe possibly bringing him on and then of course when, when the NFL draft came around it started to die out a little bit so uh, Des I still think, think ha he still has something left in the tank is that a Freudian slip you said snake <laughs> <laughs> so I think he still has some left in the tank about it's the best fit for him i i would think now that he's not going to wind up going to the baltimore ravens is going to be with playing with a franchise quarterback with possible hall of fame potential or a certified hall of famer who we know that's going to wind up making it there and let's just say he's going to wind up in green bay it's a good fit for him yeah he should have jumped on the texans that seemed <laughs> like a really good opportunity deandre hawkins on one side yeah des bryant on the Absolutely. other deshaun watson throwing the ball 